How do you think that fight goes with Broner and Pacquiao? I think it's a good fight. I think it's a good fight. And, you know, depending on what Pacquiao has left, you know, Broner has an issue with closing the gap without punches. He likes to come in and then punch. And, uh, and pa Pacquiao has these long punches he likes to throw that can prevent you from ever finding your range, you know? So, for a guy like Broner, uh, who has that style. Uh, but, then again, you know, we'll see how Pacquiao's legs may not be as good anymore, so Broner may be able to close that gap. And then if he's able to close the gap, Broner's very good on the inside. When he closes that gap, he throws those, you know, creative combinations. You know, it's, 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 good, it's, good, it's good stuff by Broner, too. So, so, you know, my common sense tells me Pacquiao fights at range, and he does well. Mm -hmm. but, but, is his age catching up to him? I think Broner, I think if Pacquiao has the old legs, I don't think Broner ever gets near him. But if Pacquiao has the, his old legs, meaning the, the legs he used to have, so not the old legs. Right, right, right. But, but, if, but if Pacquiao's legs has, or Pacquiao has old legs, then Broner may be able to close the gap, and then it, and it's, uh, it's, tough, it's tough for fight, and probably Broner wins. What would you make of Pacquiao in his last fight? Because a lot of people said, look like he turned back I the clock. I can't really make a decision on Pacquiao in his last fight, because Matisse was always a guy with no heart, so it's hard, it's hard to, to, to gauge that, you know? It, it, it was kind of a perfect opponent for him. Right.